Hey guys, welcome to another NBA Bros tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be making this simple glass vase in Blender 2.8. And um, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is, um, first thing I'm going to do is just um, add these, the shortcut key thing. It basically casts as a keys, but um, yeah, we're going to go to um, render settings, change this to EV to cycles. Then we're going to um, check this little box. Then, we, then after that, we're going to hit tab to go to edit mode. Then we're going to hit alt M. Then we're going to hit center. Then um, we're going to hit one. Then we're going to hit E, then X. And then this is basically going to extrude on X axis up to about there. Then we're going to hit control and then um, left click. Left click. This is basically gonna um, shoot up to where we're clicking at, and this is basically gonna be like the um, the shape of our vase. But yeah, you need to really be careful on this part. And um, yeah. I'm just gonna keep on shooting. Okay. Um. Once you've done that, we should um. I mean, you should click A. Then we're gonna hit this little um tab right here. Then after that, we're gonna um, select this thing and then just move it all the way up to about here. Okay, once you've done that, we're gonna hit this little menu right here. Then we're gonna um, hit a direct, then this is gonna be like 18. I'm gonna set this to 18. And this one is gonna be about, I guess, 360, because this is gonna be like exact. Okay, um, once you've done that, we're gonna um, put this back down. Then we're just gonna hit, select the random cursor. And if you go and if you um go at the bottom of your vase, if you go at the bottom of your vase, this should be closed up. It shouldn't be any holes right there. Cause I see a lot of people who like leave the hole. Like you see this hole still there, and they try to um you know select the edges and um add a face add a face I guess. But yeah, then we're just gonna um add a thickness. Then um this we're gonna set it to about. It doesn't really matter, it's basically up to you. You can set it to whatever, but I like to set it to 15. Because like that's that's really good. I think 15 is good. But yeah, if you click if you click Z, if you hit Z, it should look like this. Like you should see like it's um it's a whole thing in there. You know, like it's thickness in there, but then we're gonna add a subdivision surface. Then yeah, basically what this is gonna do is just gonna basically um Smooth out our, our our object and um add a little bit more vertices. Actually, add a lot of vertices in it. You shouldn't high. I mean, have it to too high because it kind of makes it the renders take a little bit long. But yeah, then after we can hit smooth shade. And what this is basically gonna do is just um make it real smooth. So, but it actually adds a lot of vertices. That's what I don't like about it. If smooth shade doesn't add vertices, I meant the um, subdivision surface may, makes a lot of vertices. But yeah, basically what I'm doing now, just I'm just checking if there's any doubles. Because I get that a lot when I'm um, making something, is a lot of doubles. But this one doesn't seem to have doubles, so basically what I'm just going to do is just hit X, and I'm going to delete this face to see if there's any um, doubles in here. But yeah, there's it's not, it's no doubles in here, but you don't have to basically do this, I'm just checking. <sighs> yeah. I'm just gonna hit tab and after that this is gonna be basically our, our vase. But now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna add on my glass shader. This is gonna be pretty easy. All we're gonna do is just um add um glass. And what we're gonna do is take the roughness all the way down to zero. Okay, um once you've done that, this is your glass should be done already. Glass is really easy actually easy to make in um cycles. But we're gonna do is just gonna um we're gonna hit shift A and we're gonna make this um this this some um, plane <laughs> we're gonna make this plane it shouldn't be all the way that big but um yeah basically now what we're gonna do we're just gonna um, hit tab to go to edit mode now then make sure your um edge selecting thing is selected then we're gonna hit e to extrude and after we're just gonna extrude this out we're gonna e to extrude and we basically just gonna um, do the same thing like we did before this Okay, say so control, then after that, just um, left click, and this is basically just gonna um, set where the extrusion would be at. But yeah, I'm just gonna extrude up to about there so it can completely cover like the distance between our, our base. So basically, what this is gonna be, just gonna be like a cover or something there, like the reflection of the glass. 
so basically this thing the um this plane right here should just be like a basic white or just shouldn't you don't have to really add any any material to it but yeah let's just check it out but yeah the glass is working well dang cycle seems to be going a little bit slow but yeah maybe just my computer but um yeah that's really slow but yeah anyways i'm just gonna go, um, go back now i think now what we need to do is just um add a light but i'm trying to figure out which one we should do but i think uh, um yeah we're just gonna shift a then after we're gonna go to light then we're gonna area light then basically what we're just gonna do we're just gonna position it now i'm gonna scale it by hitting s that I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna set this to like um, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna try 1,000 to see how this looks. Actually, this is 100, but um, I think I should try 1,000. Whoa, that's really, really bright. But anyway, I think you should, you guys should go for like 500 or something, not 1,000. I'll just try and see how it looked. But yeah, basically what we're gonna do now is just set up the camera. We're gonna hit lock camera view. And basically what this can do is it allow us to um, move, rotate, and pan while we're looking through this camera. And this is how people um, set up the, the views and stuff. But yeah, this seems like a good position. So now we're going to just um, set the render samples. I'm going to set it to 200 because that will be good. And this should take about like 10 minutes or something. Okay, guys, um, here's the final render. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And um, yeah, until next time, peace.